Hey, what's up guys? CBK here to bring you another Marvel Spider-Man 2 video. And if you're new to the channel, I pretty much only talk about Marvel Spider-Man 2 here. I cover leaks, theories, rumors, and wishlist videos for Spider-Man 2. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. With that out of the way, let's swing on into today's video. So I wanted to talk about something that I have not talked about on the channel before. You guys probably are aware that I have already done some wishlist videos for suits that I want to see in the game moving forward. But one thing I have not talked about yet on the channel is the suit that we do know that we're getting in Marvel Spider-Man 2 and that is the new and improved advanced suit 2.0 as everyone is calling it and if you guys know anything about me you would know that the advanced suit for Marvel Spider-Man is probably my favorite Spider-Man suit of all time whether it's live action comics TV shows or video games the advanced suit is simply my favorite I love it so much that I bought a nearly $300 Hot Toys figure of the suit and it's my prized possession. So the next suit has a lot of expectations to live up to for me. So I thought it'd be pretty fun to have a complete breakdown of the new advanced suit and tell you my thoughts and what are some changes that would be coming to the suit as opposed to the first one we got. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first thing I wanna bring up. So the most obvious change for the new advanced suit has to be the colors of it. There is a deep red and the blue is much more vibrant and to that I say props to Insomniac for listening to our complaints about the advanced suit in Marvel Spider-Man. Most of you guys know that the first advanced suit had a bit of a more orange tone to it especially when you went out into the daylight. The funny thing about it is that in all of the marketing material for Spider-Man PS4 the suit looked perfectly red and vibrant but for whatever reason it did not translate into the game it always had that orange tone which kind of showed that it was more of a technical issue and less of an intentional design of the suit and I'm honestly surprised that that issue wasn't resolved for Spider-Man Remastered but that's in the past now and it looks like it will be fixed for Marvel Spider-Man 2 at least we think so we have yet to see the suit in any daylight so we'll see I also want to say that some of the images used for this video are done by some incredible artists and their work will be linked in the description below if you do want to check it out. We also have to bring up the spider logo on the front. The new logo fits within the red of the suit as opposed to it bleeding over to the blue side. I have to say that at first I really wasn't feeling this, but it has grown on me over the past year. I think I might actually like the logo's placement a little bit more than the original. Spider-Man also has these new white gauntlet looking things on the forearms, and to me it just looks like some sort of additional padding and protection to the forearms, and it does look pretty cool. But I don't see that addition to the forearms being anything that changes the gameplay or combat in Spider-Man 2. We also have to talk about the belt. The belt look is now gone and instead we have a much sharper and modern design to the belt slash abdomen area, which I'm all for. I love the sleek look of this design. I'm a big fan of the change here, but now we have to get into a few of my nitpicks regarding the suit. And one of the major things that stand out to me is the fact that they removed all of the red that were on the legs in the original advanced suit. And that's a bit of a bummer for me. I personally am a big fan of the red section on the side of the legs, and I was pretty disappointed to see that removed. This was the only thing I would change regarding the suit. Everything else is absolutely perfect, but this is just me nitpicking. I still do love the look of this suit so far, but if I had it my way, I would have just enhanced the colors of the original suit to be more vibrant and less orange, and then I would have put the white spider logo within the red like they did for this one. Those were pretty much the only changes I would have made to the original suit. But that's okay. I'm sure when we get a better look at this suit and I actually get to play it within game, it's gonna grow on me and probably end up being one of my favorite suits. But if I had to currently give the new suit a rating, I'd probably say it's about an 8 out of 10. One thing that I do want to talk about that doesn't necessarily really have anything to do with the design or look of the suit is the new Iron Spider arms. <sighs> I don't like it. I never have really been a big fan of the Iron Spider legs or the Iron Spider suit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but it just doesn't feel like it fits with this suit. I might be in the minority on that, but that's just my opinion. I'm hoping these iron legs aren't a huge part of the gameplay, but if it is, it's likely I won't use them very often. But that's just my overall thoughts on the new suit, and I would love to know what your thoughts are in the comments. I know I'm nearly a year late on this, but I did just recently start my YouTube channel, so I'm just rushing to get all of 
of my opinions out there before the game comes out. Before I head out, let's try to get this video to 200 likes. The likes and comments you guys leave just keep me going and really motivate me to keep making more content. So thank you guys so much for being so supportive on all of my videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll catch you on the next one.